Hello my friends and welcome back to Battletech Advanced. It is episode 24 and I'm just going to get stuck into some missions here. Lunar Assassinate 2-9 is the best we can do. I guess that indicates that there will be some good kit on the field. Ambush Convoy. 313. Well, let's go. Let's go 2-9. Whatever. I hope... It is my fondest hope to get my hands on something 55 tons. Or something decent in the 35 ton bracket. Or another decent thing in the 35 ton bracket. The Disco Hound is very good, actually. It's my fondest hope to get my hands on something soon. That means I can start scaling up my operations. <laughs> Build a fire starter with a double heat sink uh, engine and a load of small lasers. Like a mini grasshopper. That would be very good in this. What would be really good is a fight starter, but I don't have the parts for one. Command interface initiated. Not seen an arm mod. Okay, what do we got? Eliminate wanted mech warrior. Destroy supporting pirate forces. Well, this is the supporting forces here, so we're gonna have to run up to meet them. What do you need? I've got something. Ah, spawn defenses are up. A locust, a lamb, a wasp, that's all junk. It's all junk. Sadly, these have all got spawn protection. Full throttle. Most of my dudes are out of range though, so... A fight starter in this would be disgustingly powerful. So if I ever get my hands on an arm mod, then I will build one. And then the bad times will commence. Moving out. Alright, we got some hits. Inflicted some heavy damage. Come at me, bros. It's gonna be a missile locust, isn't it? That's why it's backing away. I hear you. Thirty percent. It's okay. Should be good. Miss, miss, miss. Oh, one hit. Oh, that's the pirate. Well, whatever he's got, whatever he's piloting, it's got two LRM launchers. Commander. 
on my way. Let's go. Targeting for a physical attack. Nice hit. Ooh, nasty damage. Nice. Got past his armor. A Valkyrie. Genuinely a not scary mech. None of what the enemy has is particularly scary. I just need to get in there and start wrecking it. Thirty-seven percent. It's not great. Engaging target. It's not time to uh, waste any shots here. That is a lot of small lasers. Jesus, it's actually quite a dangerous little mech. That was a miss. Expected, really. Commander. Thirty three per cent, not great. Roger. Copy that. Okay, we'll put some hurt in. Holding action, Commander. What can I do for you? That's actually a pretty good chance to hit there. Go. Nice hit. Nice hit. Ooh. There's more where that came from. Okay, we're in melee range now. We can really start putting the hurt on this little lance. Weapons are just not really that effective against lights, even when they've got hardly any evasion. got a serious height advantage there, but he's still targeting the mech that's the most difficult to strike. Okay. That's a strange decision. And that's the that's the assassination target. Putting his two pence in. Standing by. From safely behind lines. I'm being played. It's okay. We got plenty of rear armor. I guess preferably what I'd want to do is totally destroy these mechs and then try and capture the pirate mech.
Okay. Well, they're definitely, definitely going to take some casualties this turn, that's for sure. Wasp on the run! Ready for orders. Forty-three. It's a slightly inferior shot to the move one, but we we are obtaining a better position. I copy. You, Commander. Moving to position. Sixty-three. All weapons Let's go. are go. Broke his leg. Receiving you. Oh, nice. Moving out. This is gonna suck for you. It's amazing how deadly the Jenner is because of the melee rules. Oh, we wrecked it. One less target. That's great. None of that in my loot table. Put the hurt straight into the front of this boy. In fact, let's see if we can break his leg. All weapons committed. Nice. Enemy mech. Oh, he ejected. I actually didn't want him to eject. I wanted to destroy him utterly. Oh well. What is he? Unknown. Okay. Let's hope for something nice in the 55 ton bracket, would be lovely. I suppose I wouldn't mind the pulse laser out of that. Ready to get it on. I get you on the move. Break him. Oh ho ho! Target eliminated. Not what I was expecting, but okay. Oh, it is 55 tons. Sweet. Maybe a nice shadow hawk. That would be nice. What can I do for you? No sweat. Firing everything I've got. Oh, nice hit. Another hit like that, and you're toast. Do you know what? I almost wouldn't mind a big pile of small lasers either. Standing by. Yep. I copy. 
certainly don't have enough small lasers to uh, Engaging target. Uh, run any of my, you know, if I built like a fire starter or something, I wouldn't have the small lasers lying around for it. Oh, one hit. And it's a good hit. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. No retreat. Dun, dun, dun. Got something you want done? Yup. Roger. I want this boy dead. Targeting for an alpha strike. Easy. Tango down. So we managed to actually clear the loot table there pretty pretty well, apart from the one guy that ejected. Now the real question is, can we capture this prize? And what is it? Waiting on you, Commander. Pedal to the metal. Primitive Dervish. You know what? I can work with it. We'll have to change everything. <laughs> we'll have to change everything about it. Waiting for orders. Heading out. Our primary target is taking damage. Orders. We have to change the engine, Locking in all change the armor. Everything, everything about it would have to be changed, but at least it's got a good tonnage. I hear ya. Engaging physical attack. Smack 'em, lads. Orders. Okay, I don't actually hit him in the rear. I'm not trying to kill him. Time to get physical. I'm trying to increase his What's stress level. No need to tell me twice. Take this. Oh, nice hits in the leg. Want some more? Huh? Standing by. Get up so I can smack you some more. Sadly, I haven't got any parts, so uh, it's highly unlikely I'd be able to finish this in one go. I hear ya. But you never know when you might find a piece of it just lying around. Engaging physical attack. Oh, the ammo went. Ah. Oh. Oh well. <laughs> the ammo blew up, my prize was lost. The primitive dervish went up in a primitive explosion. At 
55 tons with four missile hard points. This could be a very powerful mech with a com with a total refit. Ugh. Ugh. It's all heat sinks and garbage. Probably the only thing worth taking in the entire lot. Ah, you gave up 400,000 sea bills for this. So many jump jets and heat sinks around as well. Makes me sad. Right, let's go and do another mission. That was totally unsatisfying. Let's go, 313. Man, I'm just, uh, I'm just stuck in a rut right now. I'm trying to find parts. A lot of tier one ammo explosions is resulting in uh, there not being much to salvage. Well, we continue to grow in wealth and power. It's just, uh, it's just a pain, really. the convoy. No. Oh, is it there? It's this map. Holding for tactical advantage. We got bad guys. Something in the 35 ton bracket. Two things in the 35 ton bracket. Okay, you can hear the vehicles moving in the background. Standing by. Full throttle. A Jenner and a Panther. And a locust. Engaging target. Nice. Orders. No shooting, just running. Run. Got it. Patton. Axel. Jesus, these tanks are fat and dangerous. My god! Look at the armor on that! Standing by. On my way, double time. I don't know how I'm going to bust my way into these things, Jesus. I can only presume that they don't move very quickly.
Oh, it's an urban mech. A bad one. Waiting on you, Commander. Take this. Nice. Right, now what do we do? Yeah. Well, we might as well get started. We have a lot of armor to break. Targeting for a physical attack. Primary target is damage, Commander. Keep it up. Okay, the lead tank is a scorpion. That's actually an easy kill. Full throttle. We are here to ignore the escorts and get these tanks taken down. fast as we can. Oh, I'm really worried about these tanks. They're really, good to go. Really stronger than uh, than I would anticipate for this point. Copy that. Heavy damage. All right, we didn't really hit much there. I hear you. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Firing everything I've got. Oh, soften up that backside. Oh god, it's turning around to fight. Ooh, we got a good hit there. Is this one turning around to fight, or is he just gonna run? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> That's one of the weirder things I've seen. Well, fortunately we were spared the armor-piercing uh, AC-20. you say, AI.
He's going to melee me. And he missed. It's very rare that a melee attack misses. Gotta stop the scorpion from getting away. I don't know why I take these ambush convoy missions when the vehicles are always really, really deadly. But hey. Nice try, but you have failed the Emperor on this occasion. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh well. It'll do. Good hit. Pop. What can I do for you? One hundred damage. Let's see if we can bust a hole in this guy's backside. Affirmative. No, we hit the side. Nice hit. Nice follow up. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Receiving you. A hole has appeared. Boom. Let's pump it full of missiles. Targeting for an alpha strike. Okay, from the side, we somehow managed to entirely hit the rear. Oh, we missed. That's good, because a hit would have really hurt. Damage I don't know how much damage an armor-piercing AC-10 does, but I'm sure it hurts. Oh, we missed two. Lucky for me. Hot damn. Let's do this. Commander. Copy that. Acknowledge. Come on, kill him. There we go. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Right, we still got these two tanks to deal with. I hear ya. I'm going to apply a very special kind of treatment. Not Botox, but Buttox. I don't know if I want to move right now. 
I can't actually get a good melee without sacrificing all my evasion pips. Ready for orders. On the move. Full speed. Wow, this guy's ass is totally exposed, and that's where the ammo is, so let's hope we get it. <sighs> nice. Vehicle trashed. We got the engine, though. We didn't actually get the ammo. We literally broke his ass. Waiting on you, Commander. Gonna be good. Oh, we missed. Ooh, I may need some more time in the simulator. God damn, we missed. I think on a point nine percent chance. <laughs> Unbelievable. Watch my six. Well, the AI continues to waste turns flapping around, so. Let's heat that booty. All okay, it's quite a lot of missing we just did. That's a miss. Receiving you. Keep him busy, Disco Boy. And by busy, I mean dead. I had to move him to re-establish his defense since uh, I spent all his evasion tokens. Once again, a hit right in the. Oh no! I... Never mind. Ready to get it on. On my way. Roger. Boom! One left target. See what this tank does before I attack it. Because I am not about to kill it this Roger turn. That. Standing by. Okay, he ran away. He got an AC 10 hit on a stray yep. shot. How lucky. Confirm. Putting my weight into it. All right. Nearly open. Uh, 
Okay, we have created a hole in the side. Now let's see if we can fill that hole with lead. There's more where that came from. That was really not good shooting there. Right, I need to get this tank this turn. Okay, some minor damage on the trebuchet. Minimal damage on that hit. I hear ya. Come on. Commencing alpha strike. Break him. Ugh. Another hit like that, and you're toast. All we did was hit the bloody work. front of the thing. Oh. And again. Oh, there we go. It's time to bug out. Get to the LZ for extraction. Oh, thank goodness for that. Waiting for orders. Coordinates received. That looked like it was about to end very badly. Critical hit, Commander. Nice. Enemy mech destroyed. No way the poor locust survives that. <laughs> nice try, my Jenner based friend. Yep. Standing by. Got something you want done? Yeah, sure. Aye, aye. Sweet. Boom. Reporting critical hit. He must have had a case. Yep. Otherwise, he'd be dead right now. Waiting for the shot. Waiting on you, Commander. Hmm. Pedal to the metal. Actually, have no shot from there. Get rid of these guardsmen. Guardsmen! Full throttle. Engaging target. Okay. Warning. 
warning. Enemy in rear arc. That was literally a no one cares moment. Acknowledged. Affirmative. See ya. That pilot that is dead. Good. Shaken to death. Like a bad cocktail. Probably should have turned the small lasers off to be fair, but whatever. Engaging. Scored a critical hit. Panic critical. There's no way he survives being railgunned. Five, eighteen, and twenty nine. Maybe he lives. Just barely. If I hit the arm or the leg. Uh, I should be so lucky. Enemy mech destroyed. Mission successful. Man, that's the worst place I could have hit him. And the least probable. But oh well. These things happen. Well, we didn't take any damage. Considering the uh, firepower that was lined up against us, it's good that we didn't take any hurt. Any, uh, her well, there's cash here. If I want it, them some big engines. I might as well take the money, the rest is junk. There weren't any mediums deployed against us. Okay, we've got a load of junk. We did get the armor-piercing AC-20 ammo, though, if we ever decide to use one. I'm thinking now... The time has come... To do something about my trebuchet. To enhance its capabilities. It's not really doing well as my missile support. Instead, it's being constantly used as a melee bot. Right, these ridiculously oversized engines can be sold for cold, hard cash. There's plenty of interesting things I might get away with with the lower class engines. But for where we are right now, I think 240 and higher is... Or higher than 210 is just too high. Hey, 
Hey! Oh. I knew there was a reason I overlooked them. Their stab damage. Plus 60 though. It's a huge amount of stab. Could make quite an exciting fire star with this. But really you want to kill mechs, not not knock them over. Right, we got three million in the bank. We have lots of money and lots of time. What we don't have is good chassis or good loadouts, so. Before we move on to the next mission, which will probably be this one. Because Lunar is really going to be very hard. It continues to be a difficult terrain type. The AI's often over heat synced mechs actually suit Lunar quite well. Huh. Defend base on Lunar can actually be pretty good because you normally have that that base that's like right on top of the hill with turrets or not the high ground advantage is very powerful anyway it seems like we're not going to get anything better for a while so let's have a look at this So, Artemis 4 fire control. Endo steel. Have I got any ferro lying around? Uh, before we do that, let me just see if there are any mechs I can build or I can steal some ferro. Or, or a double heatsink kit. Okay, it's the original fire starter. Hey! Upgrades the survivability of the Jenner by adding furrow fibers. So this one does not have ferro and this one does. But I think it's got a really awkward loadout. Ha, <laughs> it's technically overweight. That's funny. Well, that's a mistake. I can't do anything to it to it because it's fat. Well, I believe when you sell it, you get uh, you get all the parts. So let's just sell it. It's always better to sell than to salvage if you can. You get more money. Oh wait, I gotta stand it down first. Okay. Is that all the gear stripped? I should now have a ferro fibrous lying around. Yep, there it is. Sweet, it worked. The Jenner I built has not really got the hard points to be uh, any good. Unfortunately, 
in this meta, it's not that great. So let's just sack it off now. Okay, it's a bit more money in our pocket. Now, let's get to work. I'd hope to find a better mech than this one. But it's not going to happen for a while, it seems. Okay, time to hammer down the engine. You know what, on Lunar it's going to really struggle to actually um, run both of these at the same time. It's free heat sinks. Right. We need some of that magic ammo. I got two cans of it. We'll have to use it wisely. I'm concerned about the armor level here. It's decent, but it could be better. And I have a lot of very valuable equipment in this mech. Plus, it would actually take... I'm, I'm basically... I'm not happy with... Uh, with having such a great missile launcher in the arm of a fragile mech. To be honest. So, I don't mind having a, an LRM-20 here. I think that works quite nicely. And I also think... Um, you know, if I, if I lose this, I basically I'm going to lose the whole mech anyway. But the arms will... You know, they can be lost relatively easily. And I don't want to put such a fantastic weapon in there. I want to try and protect these weapons for when I have a better mech. Because, you know, a 55-ton mech with a similar build would be able to fit both of these LRM-20s. And probably, you know, most of them have got better hardpoint positioning, so I can hide them away in the chest.
Okay, so I just redesigned a little bit so I can get some more ammo. I get the feeling that this is going to be a thirsty boy. Unfortunately, in a lunar environment, we are going to struggle a little bit to keep cool, but... We will do what we can. You know, I could put the armor back and uh, add a case. But then again, if I lose this, that's it. This mech is a write off, whether it survives or not. Can't really afford to reinvest in the weapons. Yeah, a delta of three heat is actually nothing. But obviously in Lunar we're gonna it's gonna suck a little bit, but here it'll be fine. Um in the future it'll be fine when we when we move somewhere else. I'll let you know when that's done. Alright, let's wrap this up. Been playing the extra long Got a new financial report for you, Commander. I could have, li I could leave this planet right now. It's not like the contracts here are that exciting. But I think Lunar Defend Base could be could could be good fun actually. And there's two of them. And I know people usually avoid Defend Base like the plague, but I. I think it's fun because no one does them normally. Because they're awkward and difficult. Oh, these people are idiots. Well, I suppose at least it happened while I was doing repairs. Those upgrades you asked for? Are online, Commander. Um, hmm. Sure thing. To that, Commander, I'll get the crew moving. It's a cheap upgrade, and it will help us get things fixed a little bit quicker. Alright, we're ready to go with our freshly refitted um, Phoenix Hawk, which is not great, but, you know, we're building on a scrap budget here, and uh, our I've enhanced the trench bucket. I was hoping for a different uh, missile platform to put that, that nice gear on, but I've put some of it on just as a kind of, uh, just because it doesn't look like I'm going to get anything better in the near future, so I'm enhancing it now. Alright, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.